And so I was looking up under here. And I actually thought it might have been like a little horn's wasp nest or something. But I looked. And it's actually like a metallic kind of thing. I don't know what it is. But I was trying to dig it out. And little, it's coming off in little clumps. I got this one. There's another one right in behind it too. So yeah, we'll see those spiders. We'll get this out and see what we got. Cool, well, so now I'm kind of digging it out. I think it goes a little further back in there. That's what I got so far though. Out, it just fell. The last piece fell. It's right there. So it's kind of. How much is this? It's in there. Something like that. Chipped around it, fell out. Not sure exactly what it is. But find out. All right, and this is what I ended up getting out of it. So we'll see. All right, I'm in that same little area. And I found this piece of rock that was broke off. And it's just kind of in there. And also, just walking by, I've probably passed these things up before, but never realized what they were. But these are those same, same guys I pulled out the rock yesterday. So, those and that. It's like, that gold is silver tint to it. Pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but. All right, so this is all of the uh, pyrite and pyrite variations I found. Uh, I have a video earlier and some pictures of uh, when I actually found these. So. I didn't know what they were at first, but uh, I think this is actually the first one I found. And uh, all that was exposed was this part. It was actually upside down. I almost thought it was a wasp nest or something like that, but when I went and touched it, it was uh, solid. So yeah, it's got some good shine there. Yeah, that's where it was uh, in the rock. Got it out without messing this one up. And um, yeah, each each little section they have a little different oxidation and shape to them. So these all were found in the same area, all in the same creek though. They were all found in the same creek. So yeah, these guys. There's not you can't really see any shine because of oxidation, but they have like cool shapes. Most of them are just round nodules like that. So these were all in the area. They're a little bigger, but yeah, I want to do another video and try to clean some of these up just to see what the outside's looking like. And 
I heard it was cool to like split these open, but I really don't have anything to split them open with, so maybe later. Another like different shaped chunk. And some of them are like this. I don't know if they're in the shape of a some kind of a shell, but Same material, it's a little lighter though, but I definitely got it off the rock where the rest of them were. This one's cool, it's a little darker. But yeah. This one some good color there where it's exposed that's actually all I saw of this one the rest of it was all in the rock so and this one's like where's that there it is a little a little darker on the top there where it's exposed and then the rest needs to be clean so and this one was cool I think I've actually found this one where I was walking on the limestone it was on the ground so I had some little, little damage there, but it's a big chunk. It's got some uh, shine where it's exposed there. It's another nice one. All together, a few different nodules. I actually found the first one of these and had no way of getting it out, so. I ran to the store and got a couple chisels and uh, came out really easy. Here's uh, one of them that was together. It came apart a little bit. I mean, didn't break into pieces, but the nodules just all separated. So this one's actually kind of pretty. And then it's got that there. So. little ones like these and then uh, uh, probably my favorite one this one so if you look close on this back side where it was in the rock, you can see some some bronze or copper, then they have silver, gold coloring in here. This was covered, but actually what I saw whenever I walked by was this part that was exposed. I don't know if somebody else tried to get it out the rock and couldn't, but it was chipped off there. And so you got gold like right in there, a little copper. Right there, oh, so we can catch it in the light. And then we have silver right in this area. It's all kind of pretty color in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll do another video whenever I. Uh, figure out how to clean these up without messing them up but uh yeah that's it i find these all in austin texas uh on williamson creek greenbelt and uh yeah there it is